Hello everyone, Gabilon here with the team for Cryo's Intersecting Wills Shinryu. Gonna be bringing Jagron, Freya, and Pinello. Very similar team to the uh, previous fight. Uh, I personally think this one is actually a bit easier because the boss doesn't really have many ways to insta-kill you that I encountered. I'm not even sure it has an insta-kill move, but uh, I'll, I'm not gonna complain. Okay, so let's just get this started. Well, I did originally do this with Garnet instead of Freya, but I thought eh, I wanted to try and make it do this a little bit differently. AKA not the exact same team composition composition I did for the previous fight. Boy. And she is in the air. We got Gron. Nothing crazy from him yet. Yeah, again, astonishingly good damage from him. And now it's time to, uh... Yeah, you already know it's coming. I'm gonna drop this just for... Just for funsies, I suppose. And by funsies, I mean that these things will do a pretty strong attack, uh... I didn't have any mitigation on and I survived it my first go around, but I'm just putting it on now because these guys did not get two turns. Again, that was with the Garnet run. So things might go differently here, but who knows. <sighs> Alright, thing has been harrowing so far. Okay, let me just... Yeah, I know this is kind of ridiculous, and I'm tempted to keep leveling up Pinello, but the... The materials just seem kind of so, uh, what's the word? Scarce that I kind of don't really want to go all willy-nilly with it on the first wave, you know? Kind of leaning towards Ignis because he doesn't give the party speed up. Well, I guess it's kind of just pick your poison at that point. Because, I mean, there's benefits to having speed up and not having that. Because, uh, in this case, Jagron will get more turns, which is actually pretty good for this composi composition. Yeah, that's the word. Oh, while I'm doing this exciting gameplay, uh, did any of you guys read that, uh, read this little chapter? Because, personally, I think it was kind of one of the lamest ones yet. Because, like, I feel like there was just no conflict. It was just, like, I mean, sure, they were finding that choke, but I was like, oh, he's gone missing. Like, oh, she's gone missing. Where, where could she be? And then Carl's like, oh, I can talk to animals. Let's do it. And then they find her. She has a mate now, and they're like, well, we can't bring it. It's like, well, what are we going to do? It's either rip her away from her home or just leave her behind and never see her again. And then Kraus is like, why don't we bring them both on the ship? Which, I mean, I'm surprised they didn't think of that first, but I don't know. That's just, that's just me, though. Maybe they know something I don't, but I'm really surprised it took them that long to think of why not bring them both on the, on the boat, airship, whatever. Yeah, I, that wasn't a miss right there. I did that on purpose because I realized I probably should just put Kurosame's call on them because I don't think they're actually going to get another turn. And, uh, Jagron. Yeah. Not going to do his BT just yet. Actually, I might have jumped the... No, I didn't jump the gun. I take back what I'm said. I'm actually going to stop uh, doing Pinello stuff and just... Do things normally for a second, like a decent person. Okay, we're at 80%. That's pretty good. Uh, 
Uh, let me think. Pinello. Oh, Pinello. Yeah, I take back what I said, actually. I'm still workshopping this in my head. Uh, I think one more spin ought to do it. And yeah, why not Evanescence? Just for funsies. Alright, now it's time for a lot of people's favorite person, but not mine at the moment. Crystal Fist. Oh, actually, Kane? Is that right? I don't trust that. Okay, if you say so, game. I'm trusting you. I'm putting my life in your hands. Okay, looks like it was to be trusted. Let's get you in the air. A shame about Kurosame's stacks, but eh. We'll live. Speaking of living, uh, thank you, Raijin, in advance. Yeah. I see why people were saying Raijin is nuts, because, uh... Kind of invalidated that these guys right here. Kind of a shame. Shoot, what is that? Power to create a... I think that's a ZX. It is. Bummer, but whatever. Okay, let's not okay, do this. Drop the this thing. Okay, so I'm going to have Kane just jump right off the bat because I'm assuming that is what's going to, um... Yeah, I'll get another Lancet, okay. So I want to wrap this up on Jigron's finisher. Nine turns. Seven turns in the burst, okay. I got this. Oh, also, Jigron, uh... Cool pick for this fight because these guys' thing is that they, uh, what's the term? Resist non thunder damage. But, uh, Jagron with his maximum brave damage does not care. Eh, look at that. Look at Jagron working in Shinryu. And let's, oh, excuse me, Jagron. My bad. Get this going so he launches every turn. Okay, he's still dealing rainbows, that's all I care about. Casual 2 milli. Alright, now let's see what this will do. Okay, so Freya's not really hitting anywhere near her peak, but Kane certainly is doing plenty. And yep, I'm working my way up to the big attacks. Man, I'm making some weird noises.
Yep, full party launch. Plus Freya. Plus Kane equals a whopping 15% each action. I know it gets crazy later on, but again, as somebody who is uh, forceless, this is pretty crazy to me. Finally have this buff up. It's pretty insane how that was a casual 2.5 million, I want to say. God dang, dude. That was... Not quite 3 million. We'll get there. Oh, yuck. Oh my god. That's so brutal. I am so pleasantly surprised at Jagron. He is just performing so well in Force Time. I assume he'd work pretty great with Kryl too, because I don't... I haven't had... Again, I am forceless, so I can't do too much experimenting, but I imagine his uh, Crystal Fist, counting as a preemptive attack, probably has some good interactions with stuff out there. Okay, the disparity in these guys' HP is pretty big, but that's nothing we can't overcome with a good old-fashioned power of... Now let's go with friendship, I guess. That's it, that's what transforming into an airship is, the power of friendship. And by friendship, I mean turning a bunch of people into crystals and using their life force's energy. Which I guess really could be friendship. Okay, definitely not as hard-hitting as when Garnet was on the team, because, uh, no enchant, but, you know, I'll take it. I'll take that less than my previous burst phase, but that's cool. Oh, that's just funny how it's still going. Mind Blast. Oh, no. True evasion, baby. Oh, these guys have a force attack, actually. I gotta be careful. Um, yeah, I'll be wary of that. So, we got... I'll renew this. Jagron doing what Jagron does best, which is... That... Uh, since I still got Punish going on, that's will definitely... Oh, I couldn't get Hellfire. That's a bummer. Yeah, I think this might be a case of I can't win them all, but that's that's okay. Oh wait, actually, I think I could get the thumbnail I want. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Okay, Kane, just don't. Hmm, that's that's a lot of damage right there. Uh, well, that's fine. I'll I'll just movie magic it. I don't want you to get the finishing blow, though. And this is not a Jagron Saga, but another Jagron win in the books. And I did it without Garnet, so that's pretty cool. But yeah. Shinryu number two. I've been having my own force to be pretty cool, but uh, we'll get there. Next is uh, the next part of the story chapter. Oh, I was kind of interested in where that was going. 
I'll, I'll probably talk about more, th more about that plot when the time comes, but uh, goodbye for now.